the world's tiniest bottle of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle in my possession. I don't think they made many of these and I'm so lucky to get my hands on one of these. <laughs> This is one of my top perfumes for spring and it's one of my most uplifting scents so I wanted to share that with you. Um, so I'm really excited because I, I absolutely love fragrances, I love the way how it makes you feel. This video is going to be a perfume haul and it's my Chanel collection and this collection is the Coco Mademoiselle and it's one of my favourite fragrances. Make sure you watch to the end because I have an unboxing video. Um, to share with you all. Now this fragrance I purchased, we're in April now, so I purchased this fragrance, I think it was in the beginning of February and I haven't opened it as yet and I'm dying to open this fragrance. So I want to open it with you um, and I can't wait to wear it. It's been in my cupboard for two months now. I'm so excited to open up this fragrance and I want to share it with you. So it's going to be an unboxing right at the end. So anyway, let's go through it. This might be a long video, so I'm just letting you know. So that's Coco Mademoiselle. And this is the EDP. Now, this fragrance, I, I do keep my fragrances in the box sometimes. Not all of not all of my fragrances, but the majority of them, I do keep them in the box and this is only to preserve them. And it depends on the season. I might change up my dresser or my vanity and I would take the fragrances that I'm going to be using for that season and I'll put it on my um, dresser. But I just like to preserve it so that my perfumes are kept nice and cool and away from di direct sunlight. So I normally hide them in boxes sometimes, but not, not all the time. So this is my Coco Mademoiselle and this one here so like I said it's not a brand new bottle or anything um, this one here is the 200 ml so that's how much I've used so far and I absolutely adore this fragrance it's so beautiful oh my gosh I love this fragrance it's just so feminine absolutely love this perfume oh my gosh it's one of my favorite fragrances so let me go through the notes with you so this is coco mademoiselle this is the edp and this is an oriental fragrance and the main notes in this perfume is orange jasmine rose vetiver and patchouli and oh my gosh it's so beautiful <laughs> i absolutely love this fragrance and this is such an uplifting mood changer for me like you feel it gives you a bit of energy as well it's got like a citrusy scent to it but very mild it's more of like a woody a woody oriental but there's a very very light citrus that just gives you i think it's from the orange it gives you like a burst of energy and that's what i like love about this perfume it's ever so elegant and um I, I really love this fragrance there. So this is a beautiful bottle. Oh my gosh, it's just so gorgeous. This is definitely a staple in every lady's perfume wardrobe. So that's the EDP. Sometimes I would just wear this lotion just by itself without any perfume because the lotion is already perfumed and it's such a beautiful fragrance. You can smell, like if you were to wear this, you just cover yourself in the veil and um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so it's a very fine lotion there and I believe it has some shimmer in there as well. Yeah, it's got some little silver shimmers in there. Yeah, so that's the lotion there and um, this is a very light moisturizing lotion and I absolutely love it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just so elegant, you know. So that's the moisturizing lotion. The shower gel. Now the shower gel is one of my favorites. So that's the shower gel, which as you can see, I've used plenty of this shower gel and the shower gel smells Wow, it's just beautiful. 
this really brightens up your shower and then your whole body is just covered in the fragrance so this is perfect for layering and i honestly use every single item <laughs> most of the times i use about two two to four items so that would be the shower gel the body moisture the perfume and then the oil as well so that's really nice so this is the dry oil which i'm going to spray some for you so you can see what it looks like so I'm just going to demonstrate here for you and that's the moisturizing oil now this smells so beautiful it's so refreshing it's got like a feminine soapy smell as well i just absolutely love it it's just such a pretty fragrance so that's the oil and the oil is scented as well so again it's like you can either just use the shower gel and the oil and then that's it but yeah you can layer everything on top so that's the oil now this is the moisture mist and this is another favorite of mine especially in the summertime this is something i like to spritz on after the shower and so that's the moisture mist there mist and again that's like a moisturizing perfumed spray and that smells gorgeous and this is really handy for traveling you can just pop it into your bag and it's just ready for you so that's really nice um actually a little hint is also if you don't want to take your perfume with you um i mean obviously for me my perfume bottle is absolutely huge it's, it's massive <laughs> Um, so if you don't, you know, if you well, if you can't take this massive bottle, um, you can also take the moisturizer with you and then just top up. And what I this is a trick that I do. I take the moisture spray, and I will spray some here on my hands, and then I would just dab it on my pulse point, and then any areas that I feel needed some extra moisture, and I'll just do that just to top up my actual perfume. Um, and that's like a little trick that I do instead of wearing the full perfume. That way you can take this with you because it's handy travel size. And then also um, you don't have to take your perfume and then your perfume can last a bit longer as well. This is actually 100 ml. So yes, this is travel size if you really wanted to take this. But this fits nicely into your handbag as well. So that's really good. So this is the next item and it's the, the Coco Mademoiselle body cream. And this perfume... Uh, this. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's almost like applying your skin with, you know, perfume. But this moisturizing body cream is ever so rich, creamy, velvety, and the scent lasts for so long. You just feel like you're wrapping your body in silk. I absolutely adore this. And the packaging is a dream. The packaging is so pretty. So this is the moisturizing cream, and it's presented in a beautiful glass bottle you can see the cream just there that's the moisturizing cream and it's ever so beautiful it's so silky I absolutely love this cream now this is something I don't wear very often I don't wear this one on a regular basis but um, I, I usually wear this you know, evenings out for dinners and things like that, but um, this, this cream is absolutely beautiful. It's such a beautiful cream, very rich, moisturizing. Absolutely love it. Oh, so nice. And it has a freshness about it that I absolutely love as well. So that's the body cream. This is another treat by Chanel that I absolutely love. And this is the exfoliating cream and it's presented in this beautiful packaging and then it's again in this glass dish here and it's absolutely lovely now this is something oh my gosh so great i need to use this more often it's like brand new i haven't even touched 
Now that's the exfoliating, it's a gentle body exfoliant and it contains small beads in this, in this exfoliator and each bead when you apply it, it's a bit of like oils inside and it applies the oil and the fragrance and it's so beautiful. I absolutely love this. I think this is more of a treatment for me. Like I don't use this very often. I need to start using it because it's like brand new. Um, it's brand new, old. <laughs> like I've had it for a little while, but I haven't um, used it as yet. And that's absolutely beautiful. This is the bath soap. Now, this soap, oh my gosh, wow, the fragrance. I have used this quite a bit, so this is not... Oh, the soap smells so beautiful. It's so fresh. It's fresh, it's got that true soap fragrance. It's fresh. It's very, I would say, almost like, you know, invigorating. When you wear, if you were to use this in the morning, it's like really brightening, it would wake you up. The soap contains very fine particles. If you can see the shimmer there, but there is some shimmer to the bar of soap. So when you apply this, you'll have a bit of the shimmer left on your skin. And I just love the scent of this. I feel like this smells like Coco Mademoiselle, but then it has a different note to it. It's more of a fresher, soapier note, and I wish they had a perfume that smelled exactly like this. I mean, it smells like the perfume, but it's a bit more on the fresher side. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, that's the, the body soap. So this is, this is my purse spray. I mean, as you know, I already have the 200 ml bottle. So this is almost impossible to carry around every day. Um, in my bag it's it's so heavy it weighs a ton <laughs> we have a glass bottle it weighs a ton it doesn't take away from the fact that it's absolutely stunning and i would buy this again in the same size and bigger if they had a bigger size um but it's just not as practical so this i would keep on my dresser if it's not in the box and this is definitely on my my dresser and um oh i just smell all the time <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful. So I can't carry that around with me all the time. So I have bought the travel size perfume spray. And this is a, a twist in spray, which is really pretty. So that's the twist in spray there. And a handy little size. And I love the actual, I love the packaging of this. I have another Twist and Spray by Chanel and it's like a matte finish or it is a matte finish um, and I just wish it had this high gloss because the matte it tends to wear quite quickly and it can pick up any stains if you place it in your makeup bag then it can pick up stains but this this design is perfect because you've got that gloss finish and it's got that sort of um, champagne-y shimmer on the packaging i absolutely love this packaging and the shape and the size is absolutely it's just perfect so i'm going to show you the contents inside and as you can see i'm almost halfway through that there refilling this perfume is so so easy just pop it back down down easy peasy um, and i'll show you the others so that's already an empty one that one's empty and I keep everything, I kind of keep everything in the box so that I can always take it back to Chanel or try and, you know, recycle this because I don't see why I'd have to throw this in the bin. So I just keep that there. You get three refills and each refill is 20 mil. So that's 60 mil. Now, it just depends on how frequently you're going to wear this perfume because if you're buying either 50 mil, 100 mil, 200 ml it just depends on what works for you and how often you're going to use this fragrance so i have a massive bottle here but it's so hard for me to travel with so i bought the twist and spray but for value for money it's better to buy the actual perfume whether it's 50 ml 
um, or 100 ml is better value for money than buying the twist and spray because the twist and spray you only get 60 mils here and it works out to be quite pricey but then it just depends on you I mean you have lots of options depending on what will suit you so that's my perfume and then I also have the world's tiniest bottle of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle in my possession. I don't think they made many of these and I'm so lucky to get my hands on one of these, <laughs> but it's the tiniest bottle of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle in a bottle. And I think I own the one of them. So let's show you, what should I show you first? I'm going to show you this first because it's absolutely cute. Chanel bottle there. <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? <laughs> it's so cute. So I'll show you the bottle of perfume. So yes, I think I'm the owner of one of <laughs> the world's most tiniest perfume bottles and that's this cute little adorable thing here <laughs> so i think that's the world's smallest perfume bottle right there <laughs> it's absolutely tiny um so this will be a perfect size to put in your handbag i'm sure but um you just take the, and this is the actual pure perfume this is just perfume it's not edp or edt it's just perfume but it's fully functional you can just take the lid off there and then dab the perfume on so that's that there so cute <laughs> that's really really cute so yeah that was gifted to me by chanel they that was, um, oh my gosh, a while ago they were doing like a promotion in central London and I received this lovely gift from Chanel, which is so, so sweet. And then now for the exciting part, oh my gosh, so I've been waiting to share this with you. And like I said before, I've saved it right to the end because it's very special. Now I've got an unboxing to do. Now, do you think you can guess what perfume I'm going to unbox for you. It's by Chanel and it's new to my collection and that's the Eau de Parfum Intense. I finally have it! <laughs> so here we go, I'm going to open this up and unbox this for you. So I'll just take off the cellophane, the wrapping. And there she is! my brand new baby so let's open her up oh I'm so excited let's open her up oh wow that's cool so it's all packaged so well in this box here I'm just gonna take that out there and then we open that up to reveal the fragrance inside and that's my new perfume, my new baby to add to my collection. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, it looks beautiful. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. And you can see the gold trimming here is a bit different. Well, the trimming here is in gold and also around the lid as well. You've got a beautiful gold color there. So that's perfume bottle there it's absolutely beautiful so I have this and I bought this in 100 ml and then that's the original Coco Mademoiselle that's the original packaging there so that's the two of them together and I cannot wait to try the scent oh my gosh it's so let me tell you more about this perfume so this is the Coco Mademoiselle Intense and this is a oriental woody amber 
fragrance and this has notes of, I'm reading from my notes, I have patchouli, amber accord, vanilla and tonka bean and then also it has a heart of rose and jasmine and a bit of citrus too. So I've sprayed so much <laughs> of the cocoa original that um, I didn't know where to spray. Right, so I'm going to just spray it here. And they both look, I mean the solution's about the same shade and everything. This is so pretty. So I'm going to spray some here. I'm going to spray a bit there. Oh wow. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so happy I bought this. <laughs> the fragrance has a warm vanilla-y scent. I can get the rose. So yes, this is warming up really nice at the dry down already instantly. You can get the change from the top note and now it's warming up, starting to settle and it's really beautiful. It has such a, you know, the scent is so different. So I remember when they launched this fragrance I couldn't detect the difference and I think I was just rushing so I think I just sprayed it on a card and I couldn't really detect the difference but once you apply it on your skin and allow it to process for like a few minutes you can tell the difference between the two and this one has a very yeah they're right very warm warm sort of like warm intense fragrance it's very woody ambery i'm getting the vanilla and then also the citrus notes in this it's so beautiful this perfume would be great for like the evenings date night then also autumn winter type fragrance and i would say this is more my spring summer so i would definitely have the two in my collection this is, would be my spring summer and this would be more like my wintry fragrance but either or i mean you can wear them throughout the year um, but yeah, that's really, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I'm so happy to open this because it's been sitting in my cupboard for so long. <laughs> so finally, and I, I did this all for you, you guys. I, I waited to unbox this with you. I wanted to share that with you. So this is um, my new baby to my perfume collection. So I'm gonna add this now to my, my perfume wardrobe. And yeah, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> so. A quick recap, I've got the original Coco Mademoiselle, I have the shower gel to go with it, then I also have the body oil, which is like a dry velvet oil, and I have the moisture mist, and then I have my new fragrance to go with it, and then also I've got the soaps and body creams and gentle exfoliator which is somewhere here <laughs> that's my exfoliator and i also oh, and i have the um lotion as well <laughs> so i have all of those um so those are my favorite this is like one of my most uplifting scents i mean this is something you should be wearing in the day seeing as we're stuck at home um, this will really brighten your, your mood. You've got that oriental fragrance, you've got the woody notes, you've got the citrus. It's just so beautiful. You've got the jasmine, the rose, perfect. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope this video helped you today. Um, just to inspire you and just to keep you a bit uplifted again whilst we're all at home why don't we indulge in our favorite things just to brighten up our moods and make us feel better and there's nothing wrong with wearing perfume in the house so Yes, I think this might be my new wear, which is the Intense and the original, which is still my favorite spring perfume. So this is still something I'll be wearing regardless if I'm at home, going out for a walk in the supermarket, I'm gonna be wearing these fragrances. So I just wanted to share them both with you. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in my new video. See you later, bye.